Hey guys, it's Stephen Wagner with the Tech Journal at www.stephenwagner.com. Today I want to show you how to do a fresh installation of Windows 11 on a computer that does not meet the minimum system requirements for Windows 11. And as many of you know, it requires TPM 2.0 and Secure Boot. Now, I did a blog post last week outlining a certain registry fix to allow to do fresh installations. And uh, just in the last three or four days, I came across this new method, which I wanted to share because it's a lot simpler uh, and easier to deploy. And you can also use it for other use cases such as uh, virtual machines, uh, VDI, so on and so on. But it, it does work on laptops, desktops, the whole deal, as long as your computer has UEFI. So let's get to this. So in order to deploy this method, you have to go to uh, a website and download a utility called Rufus. And what Rufus does is it allows you to create a bootable USB key from ISOs. A lot of people use this to create a bootable Windows installer for Windows 10 from an ISO onto a USB key. Other people use it to create a bootable USB key for um, Linux installations. And what's really neat now is that Rufus now has a bypass built into it that allows you to create a bootable Windows 11 installer that bypasses the TPM and the secure boot requirements. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna open up a web browser, you're gonna go to rufus.ie, R-U-F-U-S dot I-E, and uh, you're gonna scroll down here and you're gonna download the Rufus utility. We're gonna skip that ad. And after it's done downloading, uh, I, what I did is I placed it in this directory called Windows 11. Um, what we really need to do is, um, open up this utility and it's going to open up uh, with uh, elevated credentials. So you have to hit yes on that. I can't show it on the video, but essentially it's going to open up like this. So what you have to do is you have to download the Windows 11 ISO, which you can do from Microsoft's website. I'll put a link in the description on the blog post. And so once you have that, you'll see that in this directory, I've got Win11 English x64.iso. You're going to right underneath the boot selection. We're going to go to select and we're going to choose this ISO. And so you're going to see that um, I've got a USB key that has 16 gigs of uh, memory on it. And so that's what we're choosing on our device. We've selected the ISO and now it has the image option. And this is where the magic happens. So to create a normal non-modified Windows 11 installation, we would just leave everything as it is and hit start. However, since we want to bypass uh, the TPM and 2.0 and the secure boot uh, requirements we're going to go to image option and we're going to choose extended windows 11 installation no tpm no secure boot and eight gigs or less of ram and so what this does is we don't need tpm at all whereas the original fix you still need a tpm 1.2 this one does not require tpm at all and i've verified this by installing it onto a virtual machine that does not have a tpm or a virtual tpm chip so once you select all this you're going to go ahead and hit start and uh, this is going to create a bootable USB key that uh, you can stick in any computer, virtual machine, or uh, uh, computer to do a fresh installation of Windows 11 on. Now, keep in mind, I think I said this at the beginning of the video, you cannot use this for upgrades. This is strictly for fresh installations. So once this runs, it could take 30 minutes. It could take uh, an hour, depending on how fast your USB key is. You want to also make sure that you have a USB key that's big enough for the ISO. So for example, I have a 16 gig USB key and the uh, Windows 11 ISO is 5.3 gigs. So you want to make sure that the key is bigger than the ISO just because it extracts all the files. So again, once this is done, all you have to do is just make sure that your computer is using a UEFI instead of BIOS. Um, and uh, just you need to make sure that you disable secure boot for this to work and you just boot off the USB key and you'll be able to do a fresh installation of Windows 11. Anyways, I hope that helped. Leave a comment. Let me know if it worked for you. Make sure you like this video and subscribe to the channel. Thanks, guys.